Thank you very much. Like I said, that's always been one of my favorites. So I was kind of persistent in wanting to sing that song right now. But uh, this next one we're going to do, we're going to move back to the bluegrass realm of things. We're going to do an instrumental for you. And instrumental, not just a mental. Uh, instrumental. Keyword mental. <laughs> There's a, I've written a couple of instrumentals myself, and my family would say that every time to introduce one of them, so that's why I just had to start introducing my own songs. But no, this is not one that I wrote. This was written by a fellow named Jack Lawrence, and it was written, I think, in honor of Doc Watson, and the only recording, uh, the only version we've ever seen of it being played was of Jack Lawrence and Doc playing it at a stage on a stage at Merle Fest, and it was really incredible. But we uh, really love the melody and have loved it for a long time, and uh, we decided to try and work a full band version, and we do have the song recorded. It was, it's just a really happy, upbeat song. Okay, so. I'll play that. <laughs> <laughs> the offender may be thrown out. Security! Where's <laughs> 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 I thought it was the instrumental. <laughs> no, do I? No. I thought it was the instrumental. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's got a teaser right too. Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. Should we do that before this? I think so, yeah. I'll have to start out introductions then uh, with my oldest sister. This is our lead singer and mandolin player, obviously, and she got married almost two years ago now. And it's really funny because every time uh, before any of us were had a significant other, people always told us, you know, the family band thing is going to go great until one of them finds somebody else and they tear off and go someplace else. And then, you know, as we told them, we're committed to this. We would love to do this with our family. This is what we believe we're called to do. But anyway, so this is our oldest sister. Please make welcome. That is Mrs. Sarah Harris Hall. April 29th will be two years, but um, well, I'll go ahead and introduce him since he introduced me, and I'll, if y'all don't mind, I'll introduce the rest of you too. Um, he just got done singing for you. He's our multi-talented, uh, multi-instrumentalist. He can play just about everything up here, including uh, the piano. You probably heard him on that earlier, but he's <laughs> messing around. He's learned how to play that and mastered it within a year. So he's one of those really extremely talented people, and he can do it all, folks. So this is our brother. Would you make a welcome our banjo and dirt work player primarily, Joshua Harris. Thank you again, keyword mental. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can play the banjo. <laughs> So this beautiful lady over here, she's playing the upright bass for us, and it isn't upright. Um, it's just the bottom of it kind of fell off, came unglued, and the neck is all that's left. So uh, she makes it sound good. Exactly. I got a little bit of feedback. Is it just me? Boo. Yeah, yeah. That's not me. Just a little too close. That was. I'll just back up. I'll talk louder. <laughs> But uh, she is our lovely mother. Uh, she often gets mistaken for our sister, but that's okay. She she likes that. She no, no, yes you do. Yes you do. You should be listening far in the back. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Ike. She she doesn't believe it, but she's just so beautiful on the inside and out. We're so very very blessed to have her as our mother. She's the rock, and that's probably why she plays the bass for us. So would you make welcome our lovely mother? This is Mrs. Lisa Harris on bass. And then right here next to me, and she gets a big extra round of applause because she is sick tonight. Um, but this is our younger sister. She's turning 17 in February. Yeah, we don't know what happened either, where the time went. Um, we are so very, very proud of her, though. Um, she's been in this band full-time as our fiddle player since she was 11 years old. Wow. So I think that's the youngest you know, member I've heard of a professional touring band before. But um, we're so glad that she rounded out the family and rounded out the band as well when she started playing with us. So our very talented fiddle player, I wish you could hear her sing tonight. Um, I think she has a beautiful voice too. This is our younger sister, Miss Brianna Harris. Just not tonight. You just can't hear me sing tonight, that's all. <laughs> and then one of the last but not least, that good looking guitar player down there is none other than our dad. He's the one that got me started how to play when I was 12 years old, taught me my very first chords on guitar. He got Josh started on the banjo, mom started on the mandolin at that time, and then uh, before she even started playing the bass, taught her how to play that too. And then got Brianna started when she was big enough to even hold the fiddle, he taught her that too. So he's a jack of all trades. 
and a master of most of them, actually. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty. He's a pretty talented guy. <laughs> Would you make welcome our dad, guitar player? That's Mike Harris, everyone. Hey, Mike. Without further ado, we're gonna do that instrumental Josh was talking about in a minute ago. One called Ten Miles to Deep Go." I can put it on, but 
<laughs> no, so we got a couple more, but uh, this song actually is, I think Virginia is in the song, right? It's, a, it's from, it's, it's a, I don't know that it's a true story, but uh, it was written by another songwriting friend of ours, Donnie Ulissi, uh, so very, very talented, not just as a singer and songwriter, but uh, she's just a, a really, really sweet, lovely person to, to meet and to see perform. Um, so she wrote this with Mark Rossi, uh, I believe, and uh, we put this on our latest album, Unbroken. So we have some of those with us. That was er released earlier this year, our first radio single release. It's a Civil War story song, so we hope you enjoy it. It's one called Then She Cried.